Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Broadway Fangirl Extraordinaire and thanks for joining me for a very special episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. Today I am joined by Linnea Wilcox, the granddaughter of Margaret Landon, the woman who wrote the book Anna and the King of Siam, the story on which the musical The King and I is based. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's such an honor to have you with us. Thank you for having me. It's a privilege. So tell me a little bit more about your grandmother's story. How did she come up with the idea for her book? Well, my grandmother was a missionary in Thailand for many years, uh, 10 years, I believe. And she had been there and learned of another missionary that was more that she had wanted to write about. But as luck would have it, that did not work out. So she um, ended up getting information about Annalia Nowens um, through various circumstances that she could not have orchestrated. She's always pretty much said that it was a God thing, that somehow it was just meant to be as far as writing about Anna. Having been there herself for many years was very, very familiar with the culture. She had lived in a, a non-city, a rural part of Thailand um, where the uh, traditions were still very old school and she was immersed in the language. She wouldn't see anybody besides her children to speak English with, so she was totally immersed in the culture and the language and understood that and was able to contextualize very well along with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research um, to write the book. Um, and that was the beginning. And so was your grandmother involved at all in the writing or creation or input of the musical? She did have some input. Um, Rodgers and Hammerstein wrote it, and they did give her a copy to read and critique and make comments and did not expect her to make any. And she did because she felt that it was important that they would catch what she saw as the importance of the book, and that was um, it had to do more about not just eat me east meets west and you know man and woman fussing with each other it had to do more with human rights and people being treated as people and that was being a god-given thing versus um, the story that was initially created and seemingly rogers and hammerstein picked up on that and did include that into the um, musical so knowing your family's history and having seen the revival most recently in New York, what do you think Columbus audiences are going to love about the story your grandmother wrote and just the show, The King and I, when it comes to the stage of the Ohio Theater? The actual production, production is phenomenal just in the staging, um, the, the sets, the props, the way they pull it all together. The music is, is stunning in its own right. And the whole concept of human rights is not an issue that's ever gone away. It's, it's changed over the years, but it's still an issue. And I think Columbus will have an appreciation for that. I couldn't agree more. Well, make sure you get your tickets to Rogers and Hammerstein, The King and I, coming to the Ohio Theater April 24th through 29th. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or visit the Kappa Ticket Center. And that's it for this week's episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. We'll see you again next week. Bye.